continuing on in our series about the performance continuum and looking at the level on the performance continuum, which is to do with the role of the facilitator, the leader, the style. It takes a unique style to move a group from a mid-performing team along on the continuum to a higher performing team. So you have to remember, what would you see to classify a team as being more mid-performing versus lower high? So mid-performing teams, I like to say, and I think I said it in our major video that we made about the performance continuum, they've never met a meeting that, even though it deserved like 15 minutes or 30 minutes, that they couldn't make an hour and a half or three hours long. They love to talk. So different than low-performing teams, which is like pulling teeth to get them to talk, mid-performing teams are talking about everything on top of each other simultaneously and rarely on topic. So it's not a problem to get them to talk, but they do a lot of what's called bird walking. Bird walking is you ask a question about a particular issue and somebody starts the topic and they say, well, you know, that reminds me of a time and then they're off on a tangent and then somebody picks up on that tangent and they're off on their own tangent and it has nothing to do with the conversation. Of course, that's why it takes so long to have any kind of conversation. So what you need to do in mid-performing teams is you need to keep them focused, number one, and that's the job of the facilitator. Whether you're the leader facilitator or you're an outside facilitator, in mid-performing teams, you need to keep them right on the task. It's like anytime they start to veer off the topic and veer off the outcomes, you might ask, well, help me understand how that connects with the focus of our conversation. So keeping them focused is critical. The second piece that you need to do is you need to pick the right process for the right kind of outcome that you're going for in that particular conversation. So for example, if you were using the facilitation flashcards and your outcome was to develop a, a new set of goals for a particular project, you'd be looking on the right processes under intentions on the Enneagram and you'd pick out the appropriate process knowing that that process is pretty much tailored to help you move efficiently to get a, a particular outcome, in this case around intentions or goals. So keep the group focused, use a process that's designed for the kinds of outcomes you're after, and keep people tightly focused in the framework of that process. Don't let them veer. This is a case where everybody says, trust the process. Well, you've picked the right process, so do trust it. And in that case, it usually those processes are short in duration. And what the group can then experience is, wow, we actually got a lot done in about 30 minutes. You know, normally it takes us hours to do this. And it was you, you as the facilitator. You kept them focused, you used the right process, and you got them to results. And always need to get them to some results. And as a facilitator, you need to end the meeting with the results that were accomplished and the next steps. And that way they experience success in shorter periods of time and they want to do more of that. And that's where that transition is happening from mid-functioning and moving them on the continuum to high-functioning teams. Bye for now.